hey, I'm back from vacation where I played Slice and Dice a lot. We're going to do some more Slice and Dice. I'll show you what I've learned, even though I'm probably like worse now than I used to be. But anyway, um, we're going to play on hard mode because unfair seems crazy. Hard mode. Okay, let me see here. Barricade. All most damaged enemies move back. That's tough if you don't have any um, range. It feels so weird to be playing this on a huge monitor instead of uh, on a little tiny phone screen. Add a wolf. Wolves are kind of annoying, but it's maybe not so bad. Add a wisp. Wisps are not that bad. They have 5 HP, and when you do 3 damage, they give you a mana. Honestly, I would take wisp on this one. Let's give it a shot. Dude, I also have been playing with no sound on, so to hear the dice rolling feels so good. Okay, this is like the worst roll I've ever seen in my life. Let's roll it back. Um, I'll take a little a little blade action. By the way, I don't need to um, commentate as much as I normally commentate uh, the game because I've been playing so much that it's second nature, okay? Is this game on Android? Yeah, it's eight bucks, and it's the only game on... First off, imagine my surprise playing this on uh, Android doing like a two hour long run, looking at my phone battery, expecting it to be at zero. And it's literally, I've lost like 4% of my battery life. It's so battery efficient. And also unlike every other game on the damn a Android store, it doesn't require pinging a server to start the game. If you buy it, you can actually play it. Which I, if you're in like a subway tunnel, which is crazy, you know, you don't have to, uh, by Ninja Zombie, by the way, thank you for the gifted subscriptions. I'm just saying, okay, I don't wanna, you, you don't have to, have a situation where you're like, oh, in order to play the game that you bought, you got to ping a server and make sure you didn't steal it. That's all I'm trying to say. All right, here's, here's what I like here. Okay, let's experiment a little bit. Let's get this wisp off the board as soon as possible. I'm going to hit you. I'm going to burst you to get some mana back. And then I'm going to hit you with a cruel blade so you don't summon a bony. And then I'm going to waste my heal because it doesn't matter. Can I ask you one real cruise question? Yes, you can, Daniel. I'm eager to hear it. You don't, oh, you know, well, well, we'll talk, we'll talk. I'm waiting, I'm pause champing. Go ahead, ask, ask me anything about buffet line etiquette. I saw a carnival cruise on TikTok. What is your opinion of that line? So I told a story today about how, um, there was a man on a carnival cruise this week who got told to stop vaping in unsafe areas. So he jumped overboard and then treaded water for 15 hours until he got rescued. That was a carnival cruise line uh, guy. We were also talking to our waiter. We were like, hey, does anybody ever go overboard? And he was like, on Disney, no. Like, I'm not saying it can't happen, but like it's families, like people are mostly relaxed. But uh, like he said, he used to work for Carnival and people would get hammered and go on. They'd get into like fights, like husbands and wives would start fighting and they would just like fall off the boat or jump off the boat after arguments and stuff like that. And then I, I, I know this sounds like it's all manufactured. Like I put a plant in the audience to give me the question, but I looked up like man overboard stats. In the last like 10 years, there's like 600 man overboards or something like that. Carnival has like 70 of them. Disney has two, I think. Probably because if somebody uh, jumps overboard on a Disney cruise, they just, like, unperson them. They erase them from existence to keep their safety stats as high as possible, so. Carnival is a 15-drink maximum, so that's weird. What do you, what do you mean a 15-drink maximum? <laughs> per, per cruise or per night? If you're on, like, a long cruise, that's not that crazy, but if you're on, like, a... Per, per serving, per hour, per person, per person, per night, 15 drink maximum. People still get hammered on 15 drinks. Why do you make it sound like that's like a surprise? You don't have to be a lightweight to get a hammered on 15 alcoholic drinks, man. That's crazy. That, that might all be made up, but anyway. Sorry, sorry. Holy cow. Per, per day, I maxed it for five days on spring break when me and my buddies went in college. They have a 15 drink maximum per day? Holy cow. That's crazy. 
Your poor liver. Oh, it was in college. That doesn't even count. Probably. Okay, here's the thing. I... I would rather just ice this goblin straight up, and then we only have to deal with one enemy, okay? Here's your 14th drink, sir. Listen, I'm not saying I've never, I've never been there, and I don't mean on vacation. But that's like, that's a lot. That's like a lot, a lot. Hey, are you going to live? You are going to live. How about that? It's a beautiful world. Can't believe this is my life. Who keeps count? You do it, they scan your card or something. Anyway. I always love, like, when you get off the cruise ship, they have, like, a confiscated items section. And just seeing that people, like... They just, like, have, like, a, a big knife. They just bring a big knife on a cruise ship. I get it, because I know, like, knife guys. You all, you're like, oh, when I go through security, I'm not giving them my knife. But I'm like, come on, man. You think the, the House of Mouse isn't going to notice that? You know what I realized, too, in, in the United States? I don't think I can handle owning a gun. I don't own a gun. I understand the, the, the myriad cons and the pros as well. But here's the thing, okay? Especially, like, concealed carry. I've, I've, I've been... 20 years, I've been locked in the wallet, phone, keys routine. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Every place I go, tap, tap, tap. I left, we had my car keys in my suitcase. I knit for the whole cruise, I was like, tap, tap, where's my car keys? Oh, that's right, they're in the suitcase, right? As so I felt like I was whole again when I got my car keys back and could do tap, tap, tap. I don't think I can handle adding a fourth tap for personal safety or, I don't know, just to intimidate people. Can you, like, I already feel like a little panicked when I'm like, oh shit, where's my wallet? If I was like, oh shit, like, where's my gun? I, I'm not ready for that. Anyway, I really like the collector. I, I like the druid okay as well. I really like the collector though. Anyway, <laughs> that's all I got. America. Springfield, Springfield, it's a hell of a town. I've got to destroy somebody attacking Orange. Can I destroy you? Can I, wait, hold on. Watch this. Watch. Listen, okay? I'm not... I'm not like a min-max kind of guy, okay? I'm just going to do my best here. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit you for one. What are you doing? What's your move? Inflict pain? See if I give two shits about that. You're dead. And you know what? I'd like to eliminate perhaps a rat that is attacking my mage. And I would like to eliminate an archer before the next turn. I pass. The normies need more explanation. It's just slice and dice, brother. It's no big deal. It's, you know, it's self-evident. It insists upon itself. Quick heal. Not necessary. Roll me again. Did you go on the same Disney cruise ship as last time? It was coincidentally the same cruise. Like, well, not the, we, the, the same ship, I should say. You're not dying? The same vessel, yes. Only this time it came with an added fire. <laughs> which was... <laughs> was interesting, to say the least. Excuse me. Oh, right, I gotta... Yeah, whatever. Did you have to pay for the fire? No. Pirate Knight was included, thankfully. Nobody got sliced by, like, with piano wire, like, um, in Ghost Ship? No. The ship did not turn upside down or flood? I think it would be nice if maybe my mage had more HP. That's my take on this. By the way, I need your help, Chad. I need your help. Because there's so many items in this game that seem super cool. Like uh, origami. Trade all sides with their opposites. I never take those when I'm playing on my own because I'm like, that shit is way too complicated. And the other option is usually like a plus one to the left side. So I'm sure you can make like some really cool stuff with the, the folded stuff and the swapping faces and the... Anyway. 
So if we get a chance, help me out. I like it. I like it. I like it. You know what? You'll keep a unit alive. We'll take that. One, uh, one mana. I sleep. Three HP. I wish I didn't sleep on the mana. Let me just say that. Who's going down first here, okay? We could kill a, a Knoll. You're going to inflict pain on my defender. It's okay. It's a useless unit to begin with. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I want you to be killed. No offense or whatever. You can do nothing. Don't cry. It's no, no big deal. Heal the mage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dad, I told you I needed your help. There you go. They will make up for lost time. In search of lost time. Now, that's a, that's a freaking book I wish they would make into a movie. Um, sure, I'll trade two of your HP to keep the collector alive, because at least they do something. I'll pass my turn. No! He summoned the damn bony! Hey, is the new sap pack out yet? Or is it still on the test build? Yeah, yeah. It's out, out? It's in beta, okay. So I haven't missed anything. Um, give me one of these. I, don't, I do not wish to allow you to summon yet another bony. So I will end your existence and I will take two more mana and I will pass turn. You missed so much. I, I was looking at the, like, the news headlines when I got back. I don't think I missed that much. It kind of seemed like before we left, like, there was a possibility that, like, A, Twitter might shut down, and B, we might be in, like, nuclear war while we were uh, on the cruise. So I'm, I'm thankful that neither of those came to pass. I think I got gotcha. you. I think you're toasted. Look at this. Oh, yeah, and the Kanye stuff. Sure, okay. I saw that. Hmm. I do like Glacia. The, the runs that I've been winning have basically been due to getting good dice and then buffing the dice with, like, mages and the Fae and stuff like that. Glacia's ass, Enchanter's goaded. All right, you know what? I mean, you do buff a dice. What's it? Heal three flanking? I like boosted dice, man. Bad week to find out Kanye was my top artist in Spotify wrapped. Hey, as long as most of that listening was from January to, like, August, I, I'm not going to hold it against you, but, you know. <laughs> I'm... I'm a fair and this is not going to be popular i'm a fairly separate the art from the artist kind of guy like i'll listen to john lennon songs that being said there have been some times where i was like oh man i could really listen to like flashing lights right now and i'm like nah nah he, he hasn't earned it honestly like i'm i just can't feel good if he just you know if he simmers down for like a decade or something like that maybe you know we could we could talk about it but I, it's got it. It's got it. Not in the same year that like he's going off. It's the same like quarter. We gotta at least hold on. I forgot what this dice does. Reduces negative effects by one. No cleave. Okay. You add healing and shielding, but I would mostly want to put this on your own shit right now. So that sucks. <laughs> um, okay. Take some support. I would... The best thing we could do here is probably kill a wolf. Let me see. Is that doable? Is that possible? It is possible. Hello, Kate. Thank you for the, the 113 months. Appreciate it. Kate was loving your memes, by the way. The uh, my stats being the Tony Snell, her sta her stats being LeBron James, no help. She was having a great time. I was also trying to explain to her how someone could be in the National Basketball Association 
and yet have stats that bad. And I was honestly, I was struggling mightily with the explanation. <laughs> Trying to <laughs> it was just being like how I mean, 28 minutes, zero points, zero assists, zero steals, zero blocks, zero rebounds. Like what did what did he do? Is it something like is he like a stay at home defenseman? Like just his presence on the field changes or on the court changes the the way that the opposing teams play? I love the original uh, tweet says, my man was just out there jogging. I, this might sound crazy. Let's be honest. There's no way I'm getting a block in the NBA. That's not happening. I don't think I'm getting a, a point in the NBA unless I get fouled, which seems unlikely. I don't think I'm getting a rebound. I'm only 6'2". But I think, honestly, I could get an assist. If you, if you put me on the court for 30 minutes in the NBA, I think I could get an assist. Couldn't I just like inbound the ball to Giannis and then tell him to just go for it? That doesn't count as an assist. Dude, I'm telling you, if, if I think in the offensive zone, I could receive a pass and then feed Giannis the rock one time in 30 minutes. I'm not saying you would see me put on a clinic out there. You could get a steal by going in between some guy's legs. Come on. It's just, it's just the ignorant. This is an ignorant thing to say. By the way, my defender, I don't think there's a way to save him. I think, I think they're gone. Unless, hold on, hold on. No, I think they're gone. That's okay, though. We need like a sports uh, science episode or something. I think I could get an assist. By the way, when I was in the, the zoo, I was like... There's no way I could beat up a gorilla. That's like, I don't know. I know I said that there was a 5% chance I could beat up a grizzly bear. I don't know what I ever suggested my chances of beating up a gorilla were. Or not beating up, but like beating in combat. Um, but it's zero. I'm, I'm here to say that it's... If I had said there was even a 1% chance, there was a uh, no. The only way I live is if the gorilla gets bored. Which, maybe that's like a... I mean, I don't think I would put up that much of a fight. So I think there's a reasonable chance that they, they would get bored. <laughs> maybe I'd give myself like a 5% or something like that, you know? Just something reasonable. Okay. Get flared on. I'm going to say get smoked. Get smoked. Now, we're not quite there, but we're going to be fine. A meteor could, could fall, yes, and, and strike the gorilla. It could just die, right? It could have like a heart attack or something. Probably not, though. His diet is like pure cabbage, man. Like, <laughs> this is good for the heart, I'm assuming. Did you know Coco couldn't actually speak sign language? Dude, I, so Kate showed me a video of Coco once. I refuse to believe it. Because the, the video, of, I know Coco's the gorilla that supposedly understood sign language that was like, you know, I want my bear or whatever she said. Like, I want my stuffed animal. The one that Kate showed me was like one of those now today inspirational videos, like where Jerma got his hearing back due to a cochlear implant. But this one was like, um, the, you won't believe what the first gorilla who spoke sign or who, who could do sign language said. And it was like, and then the caption was like, why human kill human? I'm like, that's such bullshit. You think that, that Coco, the gorilla, has any concept of like world policy? Like, yeah, it's, no, it's probably like, give me some coconuts or something. More, more coconuts, more coconuts. She wasn't like, why do people hurt other people? Like... <laughs> Do you think they're showing her, like, the world news in there? But all the comments were like, wow, so inspirational. 
This is this is so true. If even the gorilla can understand it, why can't we? Oh, you're like you're this close. Okay. You know what? You're dead. No, you're not quite dead. We can do better. As soon as you start to say that, you're in trouble. It's like it, was, it does give us more mana. Would you look at that? Look at you. Look at that. No, he is dead. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I thought it only did four damage. Hey, short sword's kind of sick. Short sword. Replace the two right sides with a short sword. That would go hard on the defender. Bring him back. No. Yeah. Did you snap at all on vacation? No, because you got to freaking connect to the internet to make sure you're not stealing you know, the blade variant that's in the token shop or something. So my ass, I was playing Slicer Dice anytime I had, you know, some downtime. I had a, and it was amazing, by the way. Okay, your ass can live. Look at this. Your ass cannot live. <laughs> Let me think. Let me think. I'm thinking. Your ass could like do a semblance of living. Yes, 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 it can happen. Okay. Here's what you do. Burst. You regardless. You get one extra heal out of it. Which is the same as you would get off of the shield. No. Burst. You. Shoot you. Give me my mana back. Get killed. Now you have three. Take it. Take it. You've lived. I don't worry about the min-max too much. Then next we would like to kill a snake, ideally. That's very doable. I don't know if your ass is going to live, though. It, it, it would be nice to, to find a way to make that happen. Poison, huh? I don't think you can live. So I'm not going to heal you. <laughs> I don't think it could happen. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit you. I'm going to hit you. Oh, wings! So true! But we don't need wings because your ass is dead and your ass is evacuating. <laughs> um, I kind of don't like the Guardian, but I might be wrong. So here's what I'm thinking. Guardian plus short sword looks a little bit better. I like the Guardian. I'm honestly just going basically straight with whatever chat tells me. I'm assuming at this point it's been two weeks since I played this on stream. You probably know what the hell you're doing. I don't. I basically, the whole, half the time at least I was on vacation when I played this, I was like, I don't understand why there's even shields or healing in this game. Then I did like one run where I... Uh, actually used my shields, and I was like, oh, now I get it. Okay, obviously our mage is in a lot of trouble. But check this out. I'm a little annoyed. I don't think we can save the lost either. Like, the best I can do is two damage. You're not staying alive with two damage there. So I think I just might as well put this on the Guardian. Smack you. Smack you. Create 25 Slimelets. But the Slimelets have a 50% chance to roll X's anyway. And 50% of them did roll X's. Hey, no, no, we're fine. Look, nobody's dying this turn. But nobody's doing any damage either. Um, what's your thing? You know, it's not the best turn you're ever going to see, but. Damage, please. That's a problem. Everybody shut up, okay? Watch this. You're living. Oh. 
Enchanter's living. No, no, no. <laughs> I think we're. I think we're dead. Yes, I think we've died. Hey, have you noticed, dude? Every run, I at least got to the final boss when I played by myself. You guys, I learned everything from you, and now I got killed. How does that make sense? Listen, you're dead anyway. Anybody doing five damage to my collector, or just me? Just me? Okay. Well, the end. Okay. Choose prediction. We did not win that run. But 47% on yes is too high, by the way. Will we win this run? We're going to run it back. I'll end my turn and be killed. Okay, now I'm going to... I'm going to march to the beat of my own damn drum here, okay? I don't like any of these. I'm going to re-roll them. I will, I'm going to add a wisp. I'm just, actually, you know what? The most damaged enemy healing two is not that bad. I can live with that, too. I think that might have been what my win was on. What the hell is this? This is the worst roll I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm still going to say get smacked. It's just easier to kill a goblin. Save my mana. Yeah, some of the curses are insane. Imagine me, by the way, winning on hard mode. And then finding out unfair mode is just, hey, draft like seven curses. <laughs> Barely one on one curse. Like, <laughs> and then they're like, oh, by the way, how about you got to get uh, three curses that add up to a minimum of 10. On turn three, uh, kill your whole team and they're dead forever. What's Bald Brotherhood? Okay, listen. We were, I don't know if the Bald Brotherhood is like a problematic motorcycle gang, but here's the thing. Larry David is not wrong when he says that there is a certain camaraderie amongst balds in public. When we were in Puerto Vallarta, we were in like a, a resort, like a private beach, and there was just, uh, the, the server came around and said, what would you like to drink? And I said, um, I'll take a margarita. And then he said, uh, well, what kind of flavor would you like? We got pineapple, we got strawberry, we got watermelon. I said... That doesn't matter. It surprised me. A, a bald man appeared out of the, the ether. He, he, was, he materialized next to the waiter and said, Hey, bro, get the pineapple. Trust me. So I'm a friendly guy. I said, you know what? I'll take the pineapple. He said, very denata, you know? So I don't know. Six or seven pineapple margaritas later. I was watching him, too. He was walking up to everybody. And he had no sun coverage on it at all. He was walking around talking to everybody. He was making conversation about college football, NBA basketball, economics, politics. He was going crazy. And, and we were like exchanging, you know, knowing nods now and then. Then we got back on like the boat to get uh, back to the other boat. And they were just walking around like pouring people beers in like plastic cups. So I got a beer in a plastic cup. He walked over to me and said, hey, brother, they gave you a tall one. And I said, that's true. And then he just gave me like a, you know, like a nod and then walked away. Like he was just, he was going, he was like the bald ambassador. He was making best friends with everybody. What's the point of this story? He's bald. Don't say I would suck him. You don't even know. He might have just gotten out of prison. You don't know anything about that. I don't know anything about this guy either. He knew too much about Mexico. <laughs> it was scary. <laughs> Okay, get smoked, probably. Get smoked. Get smoked. Get smoked. What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that, except, you know, if you went to, like, Las Vegas, and somebody was like, I know all the best joints, I would be like, why is that? I'm not saying it's, there's anything illegal about it. I would just be like, you ever consider going someplace else on vacation? You ever, ex you ever think about going to the real Paris or perhaps the real New York, New York or the real Camelot or the real Circus Circus or the real Luxor? The real Mandalay Bay? The real Treasure Island? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think the Spellblade is great and Imbue is a great spell.
you give me one mana, I can imbue it and then get two mana. Look, I didn't know you could, I didn't know you could tap on this. Dude, it's just like Hearthstone. <clears throat> Good. Spellblade sucks. Honestly, brother, you suck. Sorry, not sorry. Plus one damage to which plus one to targets damage plus one to targets damage sides this turn. Okay, understood. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. How about mm, here's what I'm thinking. How about one of these? How about one of these? How about your ass is grass? Dude, I can't tell you how good it feels. No, I want mana. Um, to have finally shaved my head again. Holy cow. Kate will tell you, I was getting downright self-conscious. Hey, thank you, Finchy, for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. You would think having uh, gotten home at, you know, midnight last night, getting up at 7 a.m., I would be like, oh, let's take her easy. Nah, man, as soon as I woke up, <laughs> felt amazing. I was rocking like a, a serious beard and skullet combo, man. I didn't even want to go outside. I was wearing my damn baseball hat everywhere. Nobody thought it was a Canadian flag. Everyone thought it was a damn marijuana leaf. First day on the cruise, the server comes up to me and says, Hey, man, I like your hat. I say, thank you. He says, I'm from Jamaica, so I get it. I say, uh, what? <laughs> and then I, it dawns on me for the next seven days, this dude's going to think I'm an open marijuana enthusiast on a family-friendly cruise ship. I'm just trying to... It's just the only hat I had, man. Self-shield. How's that? Do I respect self-shielding? No. But it's better than mana gain, which is not even applying. So never mind. I do respect it. So, okay. Best way to do this? Watch this. No, it doesn't... This it, Listen, you can get yourself caught in the damn hurricane here. This. This. This, look, we didn't need the shield, but it's good practice. I was, dude, don't hit me with the copium. I was doing the copium myself, okay? I was like, maybe it's just North American solidarity. Hey, Lightfellow FGC, thanks for the gifted subscription. Thank you. Thank you. I was doing the, the copium. I was like, maybe he was like, you know, because we're both from North American countries, he's like, I see that your country is in North America as well. Bro, let me get heal to a single cast spell. So I was like, sure, yeah, surely, surely that's it. That was not it. I'm sure he thought, look at this. Look at this damn pothead going to eat dinner with his two-year-old and his two, uh, like, 11 and 7-year-old nieces on a ship inhabited by characters from the Mickey Mouse Empire. Can't, has to let everybody know how much he loves cannabis. Okay, fine, fine. You're going to make, you know what? No, I'm not taking it. I refuse. I would prefer not to. Well, that's not great. Uh, I will defend you. I will do nothing, except I'm going to smack you around a little bit. How do you feel about that? I thought he was going to ask me to evacuate the ship. You know what it is, Kate? It's the, it's the second part of the story where I ran out of laundry when we went to Disney California Adventure, so I had to wear that extra large Supreme shirt where Johnny Rodden's on the front giving the middle finger. <laughs> to a Disney park. <laughs> the, right, the second entry in the encyclopedia of me wearing accidentally inappropriate clothes to Disney properties. Please tell me you still own the shirt. I still own the shirt because it's, like it's like an investment at this point, I think.
people liked it. Well, I don't know. A guy did come up to me and say, yeah, brother, I see you in the Supreme Season 3 or something like that. And I had no idea what he was talking about. It sounded a little condescending, but... That was from the brief period where my wife thought I was cool. She now knows that I'm not, which is also fine for the record. It's cool to not be cool, in my opinion. So now when she buys me clothes, she buys me clothes that are like, this is what a well-dressed older man would wear. Instead of, this is what, this is what cool people wear. I think my spell blade's gonna die, dude. Maybe not. Here. How much damage do you do? Two damage? Two damage. That's fine. Don't even get out of bed for two damage, man. Get smoked. I think the warden... Here's the thing. The warden's, like, kind of cool. But I feel like there's much cooler gray upgrades. Whereas the... Gladi, ah, oh, but there's much cooler yellow upgrades, too. Did you tell this story about swimming in the ocean? I did. Uh, how I got immediately yelled at, only it wasn't me. Here, let's, let's throw you. Ah, oh, but you're doing so well. It's just, yeah, ah, oh, I like deflecting damage. Ah, oh, whatever. Show us your Spotify wrapped. I don't, uh, I don't use Spotify. I didn't listen to that much music this year, but I would tell you there's a zero doubt in my mind. Number one album of the year for me, Alanis Morissette, Jagged Little Pill. Number two, probably um, Cocteau Twins, Heaven or Las Vegas. This, that's my expectation. That's pretty much it. Number three, Uptown Saturday Night by Camp Lowe, as usual. Number one podcast, The Compound and Friends. Number two podcast, Animal Spirits. Number three podcast, Rational Reminder, a common a podcast about common sense investing for Canadians by Canadians. My number one album was literally Jagged Little Pill. The thing is, there's dozens of us. Watch this, watch this. Get flared. I, honestly, this team kind of goes. You're not good enough. You're good enough, though. Is Alanis still doing her thing? Alanis is kind of like, oh, man, this seems like rude to say, but it's true, so you can't be offended. Alanis is kind of like the Canadian Weezer, I think, where she had like, you know, there was like a few years where she like knocked it out of the park. And then like she fell off bigly. Tell us about the massages. Kate, you don't understand. You gotta like... <laughs> you can't call everything like the blank story. It puts too much pressure on it. Like what is, what is the story about the massage? I got some massages on the ship. I laid down on a table and they massaged my, my body. And then they handed me a bill and I went, what? And then I said, okay, that's fine. That's it. That's the whole that's the whole bit. I got some massages. No, it's not a Disney character that gives you a massage. It's like a it's a masseuse. That's my favorite story. There's nothing going on. It's just it's just a massage. The only thing that would like the story about the massage is that I was so self-conscious because I didn't trim like my damn toenails before I went on the cruise. So I got like, like, like earnest, scared, stupid toes and toenails. And then I'm like, it's okay. They probably won't mess around with your feet too much. It's probably mostly like your back and shoulders and then catch them going. And I'm like, oh, I feel so bad for this masseuse here. And then I saw the 18% auto gratuity, and I was like, nah. <laughs> I don't feel that bad anymore. 
I can't kill you, and then you're gonna heal a little bit, and that, that makes me a little annoyed. Honestly, it makes me a little annoyed. Also, no offense, but I was looking at some of the people around me, and I was like, man, honestly, this is probably a treat for them. Not to be like a narcissist, but I was like, there's some, I, some people there, I was like, I, I can only see, you know, what you've chosen to show the world. I bet your feet are fucked up. I <laughs> bet you got some, some insane nastiness going on down there. And that's okay, I'm just saying. There's nothing wrong with it, so to speak. By the way, I'm insane. Are you seeing this? Sapphire Skull. Upon death, plus two mana. I don't die, so I don't see that coming. Um, Raheel, one, I already have too many spells. I can't read them. But I guess I'll try. What about the Hot Rock story? I'm getting, like, sold out. This is like telling someone you're a comedian. They're going to be like, oh, okay, tell me a joke right now. Like, this, there's no story. I had a massage where they, had, they put some hot rocks on my body. And they were... Hot rocks. That's the end of the story. That's it. There's nothing more to it than that, I promise. What <laughs> is the best story yet? <laughs> it wasn't like nothing happened. Oh, you're you're done. I'm dude, we're gonna we're going the distance on this one. You see this? Collector's insane. Look at this. We got range. We got some duplications. We got good damage. We got a little damage shield. We got some, uh, we got some cleave. We got, this is a good, a good character right here. A revive, though? Yeah, I'm not dying, though. So, like, who cares? It was a good story. Was it because I said I, uh... I was worried the rocks would be so hot I'd look like a domino afterwards. I thought that was a pretty good joke. Put it in H? I don't even know what... I don't know what that means. What does it say? What is it H up at the top? It's like an achievement, right? There's no words on it. I don't understand what that... Is it... Have I missed something like while we were gone? I feel like I'm, I'm out of practice streaming. Oh, you can click on it and see what you did to earn it. You've earned a new hero. Oh, H, of course. H means I've earned a new hero. Now I understand. Tell the couple's massage story. Whoops. Kate and I got a couple's massage. That's the story. <laughs> story? What story? Listen, I'm going to imbue you. Get roasted. At the end of the massage? I don't know what is this. This is the worst way to tell a story. Yeah, and then it's like, okay, don't take this the wrong way. This is like when your mom has you talk to um, like your siblings, or not your siblings, but like your, your distant relatives. And you're like, tell them what you did at school last week. And you're like, uh, there was a public speaking contest. Yeah, yeah, and what happened? I, I won. Yeah, you, yeah, what was your speech about? It was about uh, bats. They did, after the couple's massage, I don't know if you know this, I guess, I, these were the first non, like, physio massages I've ever had. After the massage, they ring a little, a bell, they go, ding! And then the masseuses put my wife and my hand, our hands in hand. They had us hold hands at the end of the massage. And then we lounged on a day bed and they gave us a skewer of tropical fruits and some herbal tea. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, Kate. The massage was great. And even the, the foot bath before it was great. The 15 minute Jacuzzi time, I could have done without. And I, honestly, they could have just given us the food to go. I didn't need a 15-minute whirlpool time. Even when I had my own, my solo massage, they were like, you got 15 minutes in the jacuzzi? And I was like, okay, I guess I'll go get my phone. Play some damn slice and dice in the whirlpool. You're supposed to relax? I was relaxing. 
literally just enjoy something. I was enjoying it. I was <laughs> just having a good time. Anyway. Hit me. Kill me. Save me. I'm the best to ever do it. Do I want to so spawn a slimelet? I do. I feel like all you did was get massages. Listen, I, got I did get three fucking massages. This is a lot of massaging. By the last massage, I was like, this is too, this is too many massages. <laughs> this. The first one, I was like, that's nice. The second one, I was like, that was fun. The third one, I was like, I don't need to be here. This is... I could just be like, I could just be sitting on a deck chair or something right here. Tell him about the missing swimsuit. What? The <laughs> okay, when I went to the solo massage, I didn't realize there was going to be some jacuzzi time associated with it. So they were like, did you bring your swimsuit? And I was like, no. And they said, don't worry, we got disposable ones. And then they gave me like a plastic bag with like a pair of swim trunks made out of garbage bags. And they were like, hop in. Bet you won't forget those again. So good, I'm dying. <laughs> Was this like a buy two, get one free deal? No, I just said, <laughs> you know, you got a day at sea. You're like, what am I going to do? Maybe I'll get a massage. Listen, I'm, I, we don't need any more spells, man. We got too many. Let me get a random tier three item. The rejuvenation wand. I don't care about this shit, man. Honestly, like, I'll, I'll put it right here, but I don't really care about that shit. <laughs> okay, this is... We got super cleave status. She's super cleave, eh? Why'd you tell us it was so uneventful? It was incredibly uneventful. There was literally nothing that happened. <laughs> Am I taking crazy bills here? What's the story? Hold on. Okay, imbue this. Cleave for two. Cleave for one. Put some protection on. Pass my turn. Tell the dinner story. Tell the breakfast story. There is no breakfast story. There's no, the, the breakfast story is I love buffets. That's the story. This is looking kind of bad, right? I'm not crazy on this one. This is looking kind of horrible with it. It's looking kind of scary with it. I don't know if you're going to live. You might. We'll, we'll talk about it. Did you pull a homer at the buffet? Well, I don't even know what that means. You know what? I, I know we did this last time we went on a cruise. People need, like, a lesson on how to use a buffet. The way that the buffet works, there's two entrances, okay, to the, to the buffet. Both entrances go through the same process and then meet at dessert. It's the same shit on both sides of the buffet. French fries, chicken nuggets, fish sticks, real food, real food, vegetables, nobody's touching them. Uh, sauces, dessert. It's a, there, it's a mirrored image. It's bilaterally symmetrical, Okay. The number of people that are moving against the flow of traffic, causing like an RNA polymerase situation where the entire line moving in the right direction has to move to the side so that one person could be like, I didn't like the French fries over there. I'd rather have the French fries over here. You're moving in the three prime to five prime direction when we're in the five prime to three prime direction, okay? Also, I'm just, and I'm not trying to cause a rift we have too many adults in north america that eat like toddlers we need to fix it a little bit you need on a seven day cruise you it's your vacation okay you should party it up a little bit you should live your life but you should eat like one serving of vegetables a day that's it you know, the, the, the number of times I see like a, like a 55-year-old man and his plate is just fish sticks, chicken strips, french fries, 
and ketchup. I'm like, brother, you're in, you got your kids on the ship, man. Like, don't you want to see them like, ah, graduate preschool? Like we got, <laughs> I ate well, but also there, I, I don't know if other people, maybe we just have a different internal monologue. But like for breakfast, right? I would put like two hash browns on my plate. Put some bacon on my plate. Put like a bagel on my plate. Then I walk by and they would just have like a, you know, grilled tomato. And I'd be like, oh, you cave, okay, fair point. You know, I'll put a fucking tomato on my plate. Fair enough, okay? I probably should take less, more of the bad stuff off. But yeah, I'll add something here. They, they, they offer you like, you know, sir, would you be interested in having like a single vegetable with your deep fried meats and potatoes i'm like yes okay you got me or like i see, like, you see like a old man eat like four hot dogs and then immediately get in line for soft serve i'm like <laughs> I, don't, I just can't i think that's the i've realized my people are people who are ashamed that's my my tribe People who are shameless, like the, the people we saw in Cabo San Lucas who are like, this is the coolest shit I've ever seen in my life. That's not my tribe. My tribe is the people who are like, I got like, you know, one hot dog and I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have got this hot dog, but I really wanted it. Yeah, like judgmental, but also judging yourself. I don't know how they handle the plumbing on the ship. Look, it's a valid point. Hold on. First, get blasted. Maybe this isn't as bad as it originally appeared to be. So I'll tell you, like, who, who's... I would rather my mage dies. Because when they come back with HP, it's only going to be 2 HP anyway. So who cares, man? Who cares? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. I can do this. I can do this. Kill the snake. And then heal your warden. And they live. And there you go. Did you tell the story about wearing shorts to the gym? Actually, okay, I'm glad you reminded me of that one. On the first day of the cruise, I was going to work out, but I didn't, uh, I didn't pack any gym shorts. So I wore khakis, and I didn't pack any sneakers. I only had my blundstones, so I wore sandals. Catch my ass doing uh, Romanian, sp Romanian split squats with dumbbells in khaki shorts and, uh, and sandals. He was crazy. And then, like, all of my muscles hurt for, like, three days after that. I think not just because the workout was hard, but because it was, like, the boat was going like this. It was like a, a pre-made Bowflex. Okay, straight up. I like the vampire. Some motherfucker's always trying to ice skate downhill. Did you miss the Peloton? Yeah, and I missed it this morning. So I, I, I had to choose. Keep in mind, we got home really late and like could have easily died on the road. <laughs> no joke, or at least crashed our car. But I had to choose between shaving my head or, uh, or working out this morning, and I shaved my head. Because on, the, the, Kate will tell you for the last four days of our vacation, I was going like this the whole time. I was just like, holy shit, what's going on back here? Uh, all, back of my neck is hairy. Like, oh. Ugh. Who needs a healing wand? Nobody. I don't even want to give it to the mage. I don't, I don't respect it. I thought you said you were fast at this game now. Yeah, but uh, my life partner is in chat telling me to tell this tell this story tell this story over and over so i never get it. i don't get any damn momentum get smacked get smacked do i want to do 5 damage to you yeah yeah i do no oh but i got but i and i got to oh. <laughs> what did i do yeah, I, I do. No, I don't. I want to do it next time. No, oh, I can't hit you at all. I don't want to lose a mana, though. Check this out. I'm going to imbue you. It only works on damage sides. Okay, fine. 
What happened to my mana? Did I use it on something accidentally? I did. Oh, because I imbued. Okay, all right, all right. Whatever, get broken. If both of you are here, who's watching the baby? She's at work right now. She's driving the, uh, the snow plows. No, this is not smart. This is smart. This is smart. This is smart. I would like you to be deceased. Is that possible? Could we... Is there a way I could get you into this coffin today? What do you do? Heal two to all allies. I snooze it. Can't quite get there, huh? If I can't quite get there... And let's do this. Tell the story about kids driving the ship. Okay, on the way back from... The private beach at Puerto Vallarta to the cruise ship, we were driving like a motorized catamaran, right? Mexico is crazy. Like, I'm, I'm used to, like, in Canada, they're like, hey, like, you know when you get on an airplane, they're like, you can't use the bathroom at the front if there's a person in it because we're worried you're going to rush the cockpit if two people are there. I'm used to that, and that's home to me. In Mexico, I don't know if it's just the tourist stuff, but they were like, you know, it's, it's lawless. So we were driving the, the catamaran back to the cruise ship, and they were just letting, like, three-year-old kids steer the boat and stuff like that. I'm like, this is... I'm, I, I, th how much damage could they do? Probably not much, but at the same time, there hasn't been, like, one story where they were like, yeah, they let a two-year-old drive the boat and crashed it and, like, four people died. But they were just loving life. They were playing so much Bruno Mars, too, which was, like, so weird to me. They were going, is it, a, is it a tourist thing or is it a Mexico thing? Is Mexico in love with Bruno Mars? I guess he's beloved the world over, but everywhere we went. It's like that in Thailand too? Dude, people are going crazy for Bruno Mars. Nothing wrong with, I mean, Uptown Funk, it's a, it's a catchy song. Don't get me wrong. And the one band? The one band? I don't know. Oh, well, that was in San Diego. We, you know, I knew that we were in a bad restaurant in our hotel when, uh, you, you, first off, they played Don't Stop Believing, and then they played uh, Any Way You Want It right after it, and then they played Don't Stop Believing. And I was like, holy cow. They played three songs by the same artist, and two of the songs were the same song. You just got the vibe that, like, this place is not well managed. They can't even get, like, the playlist in order. I actually like this role. I'm pleased with this role. I would like a slimelet to die. You're still dying? Just kidding. I would like you to die. Let's just take you out. My gym plays Bebe Rexa nonstop. I don't even, honestly, I could not name a single Bebe Rexa song. I could name a couple Dua Lipa joints. That's about it. I'm saving my mana here. Say one, don't pick up the phone. He only calls you up when he's drunk and alone. Two, three, when you're under him, you ain't getting over him. I got new rules. I know that. You think I don't know? I'm... They played, they played Dua Lipa on the Peloton sometimes. Smoked. 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 We, I, what, we, yeah, go ahead, escape. Harpoon. Replace the right side with vulnerable. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. Add dual to the left side. Times two versus targets who are targeting me. Times two copycat would be sick. Hello, Chibli, by the way. Times two... Collector the Exert would be pretty sick. Times two shield. This is pretty good. By the way, 4X random tier zero items. I don't know if you've ever seen a tier zero item in this game. They're basically all like the person you put this on fucking dies. So I don't need four of those. I think I'll just uh, I'll just take a dueling pistol here. And I, I think it would be cool to put that on the collector.
Yeah, like tier zero items in this game are like tier four items in Isaac. Like they're useless. Okay, is our baby okay? I just heard her make a quite an interesting sound out there. Is this duplicate? I don't like that. I did. I talked about the Mexican pharmacies already. And I, I told the, it's not even a joke. I told the, the non-jokey story about how if I ever get food poisoning again, I'm just going to fly my ass to Mexico. Because you could, it, it, it literally, it admittedly, is more expensive, but you could get to Mexico, buy the antibiotic you think you need, and maybe some steroids, I guess, and then fly back in less time than it takes you to make it through a Vancouver emergency room right now. So... Oh, I can hear an unhappy baby out there. Who's dying? She doesn't want water. Come on. Come on. Who doesn't want water? It's the, it's the, 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 the blood of life. Thoughts on finding out the liver king is not natty? I have no idea what you're talking about. That's how we get antibiotic resistance? Motherfucker, I had the I had the thing that the antibiotics killed. I had the thing. Who's the liver king? Is it like the tiger king? Sorry, I'm trying to stay alive here. You could have fooled me. This is true. I think this this is a free imbue, which is always nice. But then somebody's got to go. Blue and orange are dying. I would really rather orange didn't die. So, how about a smack? How about a smack? How about... A smack and a smack. And look at that. We're right back in it. It was the raw food carnivore who said he got jacked because of his raw food diet, but it turns out it was steroids. Hey, listen, I don't know this guy, and I'm not taking his side. He was probably, you know, putting in a lot of work at the gym, too. But maybe also the steroids? Yeah, probably also the steroids, I guess, but I don't know. You know, I probably shouldn't comment on it because I'm not uh, an expert, but here's my thoughts. I lived. It was $12,000 a month of steroids? Okay, that seems like a lot. <laughs> Isn't that like what Johnny Depp spends monthly on wine? That's like my, <laughs> that's my litmus test for is that a lot of money? How does it compare to Johnny Depp's wine budget? By the way, I'm insane. You seeing this? No, nobody's dead. I gotta tell you, with all sincerity, I'm glacier pilt. Having weakness is very nice, and I don't think that the the fiend is any good at all. Sniper's got dude. Sniper getting imbued gets killed on the first turn. We're crazy. Chip, by the way, I am going to play the devil in me, the devil in you. I heard that it's not very good as compared to, or like that's, I'm not trying to cause problems. That's what I heard, okay? But it not being good, the, like when those games are good, they're good. And when they're bad, they're good. House of Ashes was good. But you know what would be interesting? is trying on something bad for a change. Why was the devil wearing Prada? So I don't know if you've ever seen the movie The Devil Wears Prada. I'm going to guess no, based on the insanity that you've just said to me. Um, the devil... Um, spoilers. The devil in The Devil Wears Prada is not actually Beelzebub, Satan, the Lord of the Flies. Meth uh, I was going to say Methuselah. I think that's just a guy. Balthazar? Is that the devil or is that just like a restaurant? Um, it's actually just Meryl Streep uh, as 
uh, a fictionalized, but only pseudo-fictionalized version of Vogue's inimitable editor-in-chief, Anna Wintour. Her actions are so over the top that she is akin to the devil. That's the, that's the secret of the Devil Wears Prada, in case you're unfamiliar. If you were watching the movie wondering, like, hey, when's the devil going to show up? You're going to be waiting a long time. That's all I'm going to say. You're going to be waiting till, till past the, the post credit sequence. That's for sure. When Benedict Cumberbatch shows up and says, oh, yeah. Things are heating up. And then, like, some horns come out of his head. Dun -dun -dun. By the way, I'm so stoked to see that apparently Marvel Sons is or Marvel's Midnight Suns is very good. I was also not stoked to see that it's apparently a hundred hours long and has a lot of dialogue in it, but at the same time, that's okay. If the tactics are great, then that's okay. Whatever. Your, your ass is, like, actually dead. So see if I care. Spoiler alert. I don't think that I do. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Fairy Pact. Replace the rightmost side with plus four mana, minus four max HP. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Dude, you could get down with that. Oh, yeah, she loved to dirty talk. But this could also be a tier six item. Mm. That is from 40 year old virgin chat. You wouldn't understand. I think I put it on the damn warden. Shields are useless anyway. Actually, we would. <laughs> okay, well, you know, plus two, plus two. Sure. Like, copycat needs something to pop, man. It could get dual. It could get cleave. It could get... Why am I giving you... No, you need more. You need... Yes, you need to be better. Wait, but you need to be better. Okay, fine, you take it. You get life steal, fucking weakness. Is it, is it fucking stamp? Roll me again. This oh, actually that's pretty good. Okay, nobody's summoning anything. Can we please get some copyright free music in the background? Um, no disrespect. You're everything that's wrong with society. You're, do you own uh, several restaurants based on your philosophy of, hey, this is really nice. You know what would make it better? Bad music. You hear yourself? So true. <laughs> so true. <laughs> I, I missed that. Hey, hold on. Watch this. Imbue me. Your ass is doing nothing. Wait, no, no, no. Smoked. Smoked. No need to chill ya. I don't even need to chill ya. I've never played this without adding music. That's cool. Who are you? Um, by the way, why don't you put some music on on your own end? You can put on whatever you choose. It could be a silent disco. I don't know who you are. Nor who asked, okay, valid. Listen, I'm thinking we can do a little of this. A little of this. Holy cow. Toxic NL. Yep. I mean, you forget, I've been, I've been on a damn cruise ship for a week. I've seen some people I want to put on blast. Don't even get... I, I know we've been there before. If you drink your drink that you just got at the drink fountain, standing at the drink fountain, you need to move to the side and become part of society again, okay? 
we're so back. Dancer is the greatest character in the game. One, char one damage to all enemies. Rampage can be reused if it's lethal. Okay, that seems good. Yeah, sure, why not? Hey, NL, I got nominated for the push cart prize. What is that? Am I about to push cart my nuts? <laughs> is that, is, is this what's that? You think I haven't been around the block before? Is this single use? No, the opposite. Is that like the prize for a guy who will walk his cart back furthest from his car to the, the lorry depot? It's a real thing? Yeah, but what, I'm, I'm not suggesting it's fallacious. I'm, I'm questioning what it is. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. How about, a little, how about a little bit of this? A little bit of this? <laughs> and then a little bit of this? And a little bit of this? Ooh, and a little bit of this? Ooh, a little bit. Oh, you summoned another one? Okay. I, I can't. Oh, wait, hold on. How about one of these? What do you do? Petrify? What's, what's this? One weakness. Who cares? One of those? One of these? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Dude, that was pretty good. Okay, two mana chill, and we're in a great spot. I said two mana chill, and we're in a great spot. I mean, there's one mana. It's been weakened to zero. Okay, none mana. Well, that's pretty fucked up, honestly. That was horrible. It was a wasted turn. What are you summoning? Two bonies? <laughs> Is there like... A no, you need to get Rampage. Oh, that's pretty good, though. That's pretty good. Well, I'll wait it out. Just give me some mana. And give me some heals, okay? I'm sick of not having heals. This is good. This is good. You're going to live. Don't... I Listen. You're going to live. We're going to hit you with one of these. We're going to hit you with one of these. You're already living. I would like to not be weakened again. I can't target you. I would like to simply put become the Joker. Gonna damage you and pray that we don't lose the... Yes, that HP goes to the Lich because they're more damaged. That means I can kill you and then weaken you next turn so you won't do this. Whatever this is. Petrify? Petrify. It's right outside your door. Now, Petrify. This is all ass. This is... I, I can't make it any better. That's unfortunate. Come on, you guys, there's got to be some damage on the board. Like, there we go. You don't even give mana. Why, why was I... So I can't weaken you. There's no words on it. You're only weakening the vampire. Okay, that's fine. Next turn, you're in a lot of trouble. That's all I'm going to say. Huge. Four mana. That's what we needed. It's time for revenge. I'm too sensitive. Tried to get over it, but you were just plain mean. See ya. What the, What did I do? <laughs> do you work at the disposable swimsuit factory? The swimsuit was fine. It just had the consistency of like a recycled sun chips bag or something. Oh, no. Ah, well, nevertheless. That was the play music guy? That was the guy who called me lazy. He said, I always play music when I play this. You're just lazy. I responded to his personal attack with a joke, and then he hit me with a concern troll. I forgot what it's like off the cruise ship. On the cruise, everyone was like, hello, sir. Nice to see you. Off the cruise ship, everyone was like, fuck you. I noticed, and by the way, this is the way that it should be. I feel more comfortable on the land. On the cruise, every person you... It, like walking from your room to the buffet every morning. Hello, sir. Hi. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How was your night? It was good. Hello, sir. Welcome to the restaurant. Enjoy your breakfast, sir. Sir, can I get you anything? Then we were at the damn Sheraton San Diego. Walk out of my hotel room. There's uh, housekeeping. 
I say, good morning. They go, you know, like, is it though? <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I, they're no longer, you know, paid with a mandate to like treat you like a king. Instead, they're just like, you're uh, an impediment to me getting my work done this morning. And I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot about that part. Anyway, hold on. Bony? Bony? I'm sure... I'm not saying that the staff on the Disney cruise ship are not nice, okay? Like, they might be nice people in their downtime as well. What I am saying is I bet in the staff rooms, they fucking go off on people when nobody's listening. As they should. I've never... <laughs> I've never heard them do it, but I've seen some bad behavior, some very entitled behavior. I'm sure when they get into the staff quarters, it's like, you... And then they said, uh, oh, is this a real caperina? You used rum. Aren't you supposed to use cachaça? And I was like, oh, you think I'm going to get cachaça out here, you dumb idiot? It's the middle of the Pacific Ocean, you stupid moron. Hello, ma'am. Hello, sir. What am I? I wasn't paying attention, but I am like uh, rolling. So who's to say? How much extra weight on a cruise ship is 15 drinks per night? That's a carnival thing, okay? Stop trying. I didn't go on a carnival cruise where there's a 15 drink maximum. I went on a cruise with the Disney Corporation that cares about freedom. There is no drink maximum. There's no, the limit does not exist, as Lindsay Lohan said in Mean Girls. Check this shit out. Smoked? <laughs> Check this shit out. Ready? Smoke. Oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay. Do you crescent? Wait. Catnip turns the rightmost side into a cantrip. Uh, four mana cantrip possibly. That would be crazy. Nothing cantrip. Okay. I mean that's really good. But crescent shield. One damage to all enemies attacking this target. Can be used again if it saves someone's life. Can be reused again if it's lethal. This shit, these are both amazing. These both seem fantastic. I mean, I'm, I'm a big believer in this. And then with the Warden, you, you take off to the Great White North. You take off like this and you pop it down here. I've never used it, that spell to begin with. And then we... Excuse me. Um... Why does this... Oh, because it needs to be one and two. Yeah, that's how you do it. You got to flip. It's the item order. Okay, so now we can get a four mana cantrip. Have I missed all the Mexico banter? The, the honest to goodness truth is we didn't spend that much time in Mexico proper. You're only there for like, uh, you know, like a few hours. So we did like, you know, a, a little tour and then it was like, get back on the ship or we're leaving you behind. In Mazayan. Maza Mazalan? I want Rampage. I'm willing to risk it for the biscuit, man. It's nothing? It's a, it's a stamp? A couple of great massage stories you missed. <laughs> Nobody missed a massage story, okay? Horrible rolls. At least this time, we didn't, we, our baby just napped in the room. We didn't have to walk her around the ship, so we didn't have to deal with having a baby in the stroller. Um, and then everybody that sees the baby going, What a cute baby! Wow! Wow, she's so cute how she's sleeping right now. Yeah, they bat-chested the baby a little bit. That's okay, though. 
And the ship, I forgot to mention, again, like, people are talking about the massage story as if it's the real deal. Excuse me, the ship was on fire? And the rent is too damn high? You not remember the part where the ship was on fire? You can live. Probably. I can heal you. I can heal. I can heal you, I can... No, so, bro, somebody's gonna die. I can't let the warden die. I can't save them. Wait. No, all right. Hold on. Take me back. This, this feels like the start of a death spiral. Collector needs to live. That's important. You're just dying to poison. I, I can't, like, save your ass. I would like our collector to live. Well, ah, sure. You're still dying? Get a life. I'm in trouble, man. Oh, and you don't even do anything. <laughs> are, you, are you stupid? You're, you could do better than that. Yeah, okay, that's good. I'll, I'll leave you some respect on that one. Okay, check this out. Ready? Smack. Smack at the base. Smack. Sh we got to do it on... A, no, it's just it's poison. I got to do it on you, okay? We're gonna smack at the base. We're gonna die. We're gonna die and we're gonna lose. That's what's gonna happen here. Although, you know what? A couple of rolls could save us, maybe. There's a couple of savable rolls. That's not one of them, but we do get a free reroll. That is one of them. What do I want you to have? I mean, escape would be pretty nice, I suppose. I think you live anyway. You definitely live anyway. We're making it, man. Look at this. Favorite dining room on the cruise? I want you to know I'm only answering this. Like, answering this is going to give me a lot of who asked. And you're the one who asked. So I just want you to know that, okay? I would say... I mean, the, the pasta appetizer... At Animator's Palette is pretty goaded. Honestly, it might sound crazy. I'm kind of Cabana's pilled, though. I'm kind of like, uh, I'm all about the buffet. The, the buffet is actually good. Thank you for answering the question asked. One who asked, or one nice comment in, in a slew of a hundred who asked. That's okay. Ace is pretty dope. What is, I've never seen this guy before. Times three, if, okay. Times three if this has the same value as the previously used dice this turn. So if I have two other three pieces, this will generate nine mana. Boost. Target gets plus one to all sides this turn and the shield. Okay. The rest of your hand is to try this. But you know what? They say it's amazing. Give it a try. I guess I can give you that. Guess I can give you this. See, you're a three piece. I like that. I respect that. I can hang my hat on that. Everything else, not so much. This is horrible. These are horrendous rolls. Can I get a, a two piece of mana at least? Okay, hold on. This is it. This is my nine mana. Take this. Get absolutely shattered. That doesn't kill you? Are you kidding me? I, it doesn't matter. We're going to have nine mana in a second. Maybe we could do this instead then. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get smoked. Give me nine mana. And then give me two more. Shield one boost. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Burst me. 
We got two more mana. Burst me. Burst me. Burst me. Burst me. Someone's still dying. Are you kidding me? After all that, one unit still has to... No! We made it. Undo and use Infuse. Excuse me, Infuse was uh, from our previous uh, squad. We don't have an Infuse on our squad anymore. Or that, which is to say, this is where I would use my Infuse if I had one. This is good enough. I'm rolling. Yes, respect. And you know what? Three man is good. Netflix has that new show coming out, the three mana problem. What's the problem? As far as I'm concerned, there is no problem. It's right there. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You'll do it all. <laughs> I had it confused with... Uh, Im I had it confused with Imbue! I had it confused with Imbue. My mistake. Hey, I'm just a guy. You can't be mad at me. I'm just a guy. What is this? Times two, if this has the same value as the previously used dice this turn. Hold on, I can definitely make that happen. I can definitely make that happen. So smack you. Four mana. Plus one to your side. Duplicate me. Duplicate me. Duplicate me. Plus one to your side. Again. Smack me. Smack me. Smack me. Look at that. Two pocket mirror. Copy the left onto the right. Okay, that could be good. Could still be good. No. Not not necessary. Actually would be incredible. Or plus one to all even sides. Your shit is odd as hell. Pretty odd. Very even, actually. But plus one, who cares, man? I'm going mirror. I'm going insane mirror on the ace. I want to generate infinite mana. Don't be mad at me. His shit was odd as hell. You need to generate four mana. Stop giving me like two shields. How can there be five dice and they're all bad? Like it just doesn't make sense. We did not get a three piece though. Unfortunately. You gotta go. You gotta go. You did? Hold on. We got one three piece. We need two three pieces, right? No, oh, there's a two previously used dice. We need the we need the second three piece. One three piece. We need we need one more. You need two. Ah, I read that wrong. Listen, you, <laughs> you motherfucker. You're right on this one. That's all I needed to know. Hold on. I don't like a Basilisk. You, you petrify me, right? But I can do like a lot of damage to you. Like I hit you with one of those. That's pretty sizable. Can I not? What, let me think about this. If I took you to four, you'd take eight damage. That would take you to here. You'd only need four more to, to pass away. It sucks to... No, you know what? Because you don't want to hit the Basilisk first because that is going to petrify you for all the future enemies. So here's what you're going to do instead. You're going to get your three mana. We're going to infuse this son of a gun right here. We're gonna smack you. It doesn't it does get the kill. It does get the kill. That's all you need to know. No sweat. Could infuse get you to a second three piece? I think so, but I would need the mana first from this in order to pay for this. But if I got the mana from the warden, I might be able to inf well not infuse, but I could draw my way to it. Hey, could you, could you stop? This cantrip is screwing me up, man. This cantrip is causing a lot of problems. This is horrendous. This is god-awful. 
You got to go. But I don't like do any damage to you. <laughs> I think I might be dead. I'm hoping I'm not, but I think I might be. That plus this. You live. I could do one damage to everybody, which is a little whack. And then they're both going to heal for two, which is it means there was no point to doing that. It was actually like an anti-point. Please, please, no cantrip on Ka. At least let me kill the bird. This is good. Now we just, just give me some, th give me some three pieces. Whoa! <laughs> the cantrip mana? I'll just take that. More? Where's my three piece? Okay, you gotta die. I can't make that happen. So I think our vampire is probably gonna go. But I think your ass can probably be killed. I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna burst the bejesus out of you. Please. Please. All right, I, as far as, as far as that goes, I can take that. I, I'm okay with that. Now we just gotta kill a Ka. Huge heal wand, that's surprising. Now we could get more, we already got the four mana. We get, that's just eight mana. That's eight mana just by holding it. Now we could get more, but like that's so greedy. We don't need to be that greedy. I could hit you from afar. Please don't roll that. Yes. Yes. That's huge, dude. Are you seeing this? Then support me. Support me. Support me. That's not the way to handle this, but whatever. Burst him four times. When you hit him, he moves backwards. You don't know what you're taught. As soon as you, even when you hit him with a spell, he moves backwards and then only ranged things can hit him. Oh, he's the only monster. Never mind. You're right. That happens a lot in this game. <laughs> he can't move back if he's the only one. Brawler. Okay, honestly, I gotta go to the bathroom, man. I'll be back in like 45 seconds. I gotta go to the bathroom. Otherwise, I'm gonna pee my pants and lose. So I'll be back in just a second. Bro, I go outside, my kid's eating a Pokemon card. She's got a Pokemon card just sitting between her lips, getting all slobbery. Don't tell Chibli or Apollo. What one was it? It was like a first edition Charizard beta foil. 
Okay, everyone was saying twin is incredible. But for what purpose? No. I've never taken this character because it scares me. Twin with a mana cantrip? We have a problem, though. If I put the mana item on him, he'll have minus one HP. Which I think is bad. Worth. I mean, maybe they get stuck at one, but still. Yeah, I kind of like that the... I mean, I like the collector, don't get me wrong, but I like that the brawler has so many threes. It's very helpful for, for enabling our nine mana. I think you got to give it a chance, at least. Got to give it a try. And then we can still put this there. That's fine. Troll King. You mean me when someone calls me lazy for not putting on the music? Uh, okay, three, 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 four. This is incredible. Look at this. Sure, why not? That's, that's good enough. Now, hey, watch this. Um, how about Peace Me? Peace Me. Why did that do so much damage? Oh, because I had so much mana. <laughs> no, do it. You got to do it like this. Wait, why are you... Oh, because you're... What? What? Why did it do so much damage? Oh, it only it's, it did six damage because of duel. I understand now. Okay, sorry. I got confused. I got a little confused. Nine of this. We have 17 mana. Is that good? If you burst on him, you can one-shot the king. Yeah, but the thing is, like, he only gets a one... Oh, no, he gets two! He gets a bonus of two! Because he normally gets a bonus based on his shields, but because of duel, he's doing two times the damage. Holy cow! But how do I... Oh, okay. Hit ya? No, how am I supposed to get the mana first? Oh, no. I need it. I... I... The, the sacred text! I think you got... Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. We're on zero here. Heal yourself. That's a given. Get your mana. Burst yourself. Burst yourself. Burst yourself. Burst yourself. Smack him. Smack him. We did. We overkilled him. But then it's not three anymore. That's still. I, I mean, you know what? Honestly, that's still really good. <laughs> We don't need nine mana if we've killed uh, the, the enemy, I suppose. We'll just kill a slate next turn. Now it's not three. Yeah, but that's like, that's besides the point, I suppose. Okay, we just need five attacks. I'll take that. That's good. That's enough mana to generate five attacks. Holy cow. I'm going to smack you. I'm going to smack you. I'm going to take four mana. I'm going to smack you. Gonna smack you, dude! Holy cow! This is this is crazy. Replace the left side with gain two rerolls cantrip. <laughs> Replace the top side with shield one single use perma boost. Perma boost target gets plus one to all sides of this fight. Okay, I think you gotta go sushi, and you gotta try to make your warden. Well, it doesn't matter who has the cantrip, I suppose. You could probably replace it on your vampire. I actually like what you're saying, too. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I got to think about it. I think I want sushi. Uh, me always. <laughs> and then... Like this. Gain two rerolls. And that way, yeah, yeah. I feel like it makes more sense on the vampire. I don't want to put it on the dancer because I feel like the, the rampage is kind of good. I feel like this could be kind of good on the... Oh, it doesn't seem to work. Okay. Um, I feel like this works better on you. I don't want to put it on the warden because I don't want to... I, I want to be able to get the cantrip and the cantrip on the same time. And then mirror it. Whoa, whoa, you're right. And then mirror it for infinite mana. 
Rhythm is a dance. Also true. About, I forgot that rhythm is a dancer. You know what? Actually, you, you've raised a good point here. This makes sense to me. You've raised a good point. The thing is, though, if we mirror it, that is a lot of re-rolls, but we're re-rolling it, what, to just get as many four manas as possible? Maybe that's not so bad. Maybe it's still pretty good. <laughs> okay, yeah, I could see this maybe. Sure. So we should basically never freeze the Warden's dice. There's two free re-rolls. Brawler, do we want... We probably want a three-piece. We probably... We don't want your three-piece, though. Reroll me. A four-piece that just gave us four free mana. And we roll again. A two-piece. We still got two re-rolls. We just started, basically. The turn just started. Okay. We could get times two, but I think we could do better. One free reroll. And nothing else of value. Four more mana? No, we hit a Wisp, so we got mana burn. This is our last roll. Maybe hedge your bets, roll the Dancer, see what you get. One free cantrip, okay? So that went okay, and I feel like it was worse than like we would mathematically expect it to be. Which could be a good sign. Get smoked. Are you dead? <laughs> Sorry, one second. Are you deceased? Are you dying? Why not use one damage on the one HP guy? It's a great point. When you put it that way, it's a very, it's a very interesting point. How about this? And this. Six mana. I did the math wrong. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Okay. After Cry 13 361, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you, thank you. Just for that, I'm choosing to keep the character that makes it all possible alive. Okay? Don't say I never did nothing for you. You're adding pain to my sides this turn. You're a pain in my behind already, so whatever. And Brawler has pain, and Zendaya is Michi. Ironclad, is this a Slay the Spire reference? You know it's messed up when you're like four mana? Mm, I'm not sure it's worth it. Two more rerolls. I'm, I'm going back, man. We're on five rerolls. Can I, can I get my good cantrips? Like, this is disgusting. You could be amazing this turn, although the pain is going to be rough. We still have three rerolls. Like, we just started. Honestly, I'm sending you back out into the ether, brother. I'm, I'm giving you a chance. Two more rerolls. Give me a three-piece. There we Okay, four mana. There we go. It's all worthwhile now. And we got five rerolls. We take our three mana and then any three-piece that shows up. Two more rerolls. Any three-piece. There's a three-piece and two more mana and two more rerolls. Okay, here we go. Free damage. Got, a, got some mana gain. We're on five rerolls. Got a little bit more. Two more rerolls. I get a three piece. Four more mana. You're right. I'm playing commander right now. Four more mana. <laughs> okay. This is why I needed chat's help while I was gone. Four more mana. So it's on seven rerolls of two. That was a three piece. Probably should have kept that. But at the same time, we are getting the dancer can trips. You know, it's at some point, this has got to end. What am I even rolling for now? I guess I'm rolling for four more mana. I'll just give you one more real quick. All right. Well, it's a little underwhelming at the end, but then three-piece me. Three-piece me. We have 32 mana real quick. Put some of that to use. And 28 floating. I got 28 floating mana. Now, this is hilarious. First off, you got cantrips. But we would replace one of the cantrips. You also have charge, which is so funny because we could shield someone for like 40. 
And you, what, what does our vampire do? Literally, they, they do nothing. <laughs> You've got some three pieces, which is reasonable. You've got some extra mana gain. What do you do that would even benefit me? The occasional extra shield? I don't think that's that valuable, man. You allowing somebody else to go again would be kind of sick. But what would we want to go again? I don't think we'd generate the mana off of it. That's true. We could turn shields to damage on the with the brawler. Ah, very good point. Like we could get 40 shield, put it on the brawler, and then do like 40 damage to somebody. What's Fate's spell? Heal to spell rescue. I mean, spell rescue is great, but... I think we got to try this. And then... Just like that. Only having 4 HP sucks, but... I'm not worried about losing the one shield cantrip, though. I guess we could put it on somebody else, but... It, my hope is that it doesn't matter. So the poet needs it. We don't want any of this. We want to save three pieces. No three pieces. Two free rerolls. A three piece. You could also give us some insane dueling potential, but you also have... Okay, I, I think you're right. I think we should move it to the vampire. That was not me screaming, obviously, okay? That was my, my child. Excuse me, where's my four mana? There, there it is. And a three-piece. Okay, roll me again. And this is pretty good, but we'd lose our shot at four mana. Kind of snooze. Give me another one. Give me another one. Oh, I lost my reroll because I kept my three-piece on the day. That's why. It's, I mean, it's not that bad. It's not that good. And then what do I got all these freaking three-pieces for? For nothing. Yes. Yes. Okay. You're targeting me? Oh, what? You're approaching me? Well, then get hit for 22 damage, I suppose. It would be nice to kill a zombie in one hit. Everything else? Why, why don't we just... Oh, no, because then you're going to heal anyway. Might as well just wait. Yeah, I gotta learn. Don't save the dancer's three-piece until it's, like, the end. But how do I know when it's the end? That's a good point. Save this three-piece. Roll me. Cantrips. would love to see it. Roll me. Love to see it. I can't save yours yet. I appreciate you. You've moved to the back. We've got three re-rolls left. I'm rolling again. Two more. Can I get, the, can I get some mana? Like, it shouldn't be that hard. I got seven re-rolls. Where's my mana, Denny? Nobody in the history ever thought that this day would ever end. Well, guess what? It's not gonna end. Okay, I do need to save a three-piece, though. I guess when we get the three-piece, that's when we decide that it's over. I thank you. And then, I don't know. I'd rather roll you to see if you'll just give me four mana, honestly. Reasonable chance. It's probably the best you can do right now. Dude, plus two rerolls, kind of sick. Kind of like amazingly sick. Kind of like the best to ever do it. Kind of like a, okay. Three piece? Well, it, no, it's stupid. I'm going to four piece. I'm going to three piece you like this. That doesn't make any sense. I'm going to four piece you. Then I'm going to three-piece you. Then I'm going to two-piece you. Then I'm going to get some mana and just kill you. It doesn't even matter. Triple shuriken. Adds ranged and change, chain to all sides. Times two of this shares a keyword with the previously used dice this turn. Feels like if you put this on the cantrips, they would just chain into each other. Oh, but they would probably ruin themselves at some point, but... Okay, replace the left side <laughs> with 10 damage heavy, charged. 
bonus equal to your current mana? What? So we could do like 40 damage in a single hit. Both of these seem broken. The thing with the cantrips. No, you're right. That the cantrips would go insane because the shields and the and they all have the same keywords. I thought like the shield would screw up a chain of of uh, like dagger cantrips, but no, I think we got to do this. And then we add it to the dancer, right? Take it for damage. Or you can, I guess you could add it to the poet for absurd mana. Or, yeah, you're right, extra rerolls. Okay, so check this out. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> no, well, I don't know. It might be impossible. But either way, we know we want to want to move this to you. And then, I, I love what we got here. Oh, where are we going to put those cantrips, man? They do have 3 HP, but it, sh it shouldn't matter. I mean, we can get cantrips on the shield. We could unmirror this, but th you I can't unmirror that. I'm sorry. Wait, this, wait, this adds ranged and chain to all sides, okay? I just need, I need another space on you, because I'm not unmirroring you, and I'm not replacing the left side with gain two rerolls cantrip. No, I refuse. Although if we hit multiple... Look, I think this is going to generate a ton of shields for us, which is nice. It's not the damage that I thought it would be. It's just a little harder to get it started. This looks right, okay. It just, it just needs to get a good start. Just needs a little momentum. We know we want this, right? You don't have any cantrip. Okay, so this is the best. And this is still good. Sorry, I need some re-rolls. I, I did kill a unit. It's hard to get out of the mindset that that's a bad thing. Do I not have... Where's my three pieces? I thought I had enough three pieces. We can kill a Hydra anyway, I think. Maybe we can't. <laughs> Should you not be chaining? You're not... Why aren't you chaining? Why aren't you... Because ch cantrip isn't a keyword. It is chained. Oh, so it doesn't go times two, times two, times two, times two, times two? I thought it stacked. What a waste of day, it's a waste. This is on Itch.io Cobalt. This is called Slice and Dice. It's also on Android. It's the greatest Android game of the year. My personal opinion, my two cents. Okay, well, let's kill a freaking demon then. Or at least like, impede it. No, I gotta keep the vampire alive. Get the rerolls going next time. But the rerolls, man. There's one. Useless. You insult me. You do. You no longer insult me. This is very good. Thank you so much. I'll take my two rerolls. That could go to four rerolls. It's only six damage. I don't know why I thought you were gonna cantrip. Give me something. More rerolls. A three piece, with shields attached. A two-piece cantrip. Roll me. More rerolls. Okay, I do have seven rerolls now. I think I'm starting to see the power. I have ten rerolls. 
You're a three piece, but I don't want to take you. Okay, give me give me some cantrips now. <laughs> Dude, I missed my four mana cantrip. Why am I why am I not getting my four mana anymore? That was like part of the meat and potatoes of the whole operation here. Fourteen rerolls. There's, there's my four mana. Finally, sh oh, because it's on the vampire. That's right. It's not on you anymore. Should have frozen the ace. You know what? Doesn't really matter. There we go. I mean, it's over, right? What can you do? I still have 10 rerolls. I still have 14 rerolls left. Holy cow. I don't even need to look at the dice. You're, you're right. As long as we get the chain started, I don't even have to look at the dice. Okay, now just don't do something that's going to screw it up. You've got some three pieces, which is nice. You've also got some mana generation, which is nice. How much HP you got? Eight? Hexi is going to run over you. Why? Mana burn? On hit, attacker takes equal damage to me. Wait, but they're ranged. Yeah, it's ranged, so we won't take damage from the range. Wait, whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. I think this is good. You've got three pieces. You've got weaken, which is fine. You've got boost. Boost could help us enable the nine mana starter. What's this spell? Heal one to all ally allies and regen. Yeah, I think we go witch. And then apply this and this. And then run it, man. Then give it a try. I could not keep this run straight if it was if I didn't have chat. Chat is is saving me here. You don't need to save this three piece. We can we can do better. We want to save this three piece and then roll me. Thank you for the rolls. Thank you for the rolls. We're back to three. Keep it going. It's pretty much what we needed. Thank you so much. Hey, look, you got a three piece. This enables our nine mana game. That's a big one. I'll take my shield as well. Thank you so much. We're at eight rerolls. This stops you from getting four mana. You know what? You're absolutely right. I can't keep that frozen. Roll it again. Back to eight rerolls. First hit is ranged. We're safe. Good damage. Rerolls? Re four more rerolls are up to nine. Oh, and we're smacking, man. We should save this, though. It's beautiful. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Four free mana. Bunch of damage. 11 rerolls. I mean, I should just be clicking the button at this point. Am I, am I right? I should just be clicking the button? I have 12, 12 mana for nothing. 11 rerolls remaining. 15 rerolls. I do need to hit the damage cantrips at some point. So ideally, we would just win with cantrips. But if we have to, we could take <laughs> our absurd mana and apply it to our brawler and then one hit kill the boss. But we don't have to do that until we got, you know, like a few rolls remaining which we'll probably never get down to anyway okay that's that's a good one we might as well wait until all the imps are dead at least well this is like the greatest run i've ever seen like obviously this is this is incredible i didn't even know you could do this here on my phone i'm out here like oh two re-rolls i'll take shield four POV, you are my opponent in Commander. And then I get another four rerolls, which allows me to trigger roll a d6, and it's an even number, so I get four more rerolls. And then I've rolled my secondary dice, which has allowed me to get a four damage uh, compounding. You get the idea, okay. Now I'm probably already on lethal, but we should maybe take this and this, and then go. Um, well, first, I guess I'll just smack you. <laughs>
Dude. I put them out of their misery. Good game. Holy cow. One hour, 31 minutes. A thousand rolls. That seems higher than normal for sure. Throw a slash marker in on that one. Holy cow. Slash marker. What was that? That was, uh, what's this game called? Slice and Dice. How about that? 